We have bad news. Allie has COVID. After all these years, we meet. Neither of us have had COVID until now. I'm still negative. I'm trying to stay I away from her. I had COVID. I was convinced. I was like, I had COVID. I never tested positive. I'm one of those people. Now you actually have it. It's not actually good. It's not good, no. It sucks. I knew the minute I woke up. I said, this is COVID. <sighs> yeah. So, I was on like any illness I felt. Help me take care of my uh, pregnant COVID sick wife. This a giant bag of cheese. <laughs> I've also made her a lemon and honey drink. And now... I gargled with salt water. My throat feels much better than when I woke up. Good. It's still sore, but... I've also been giving her lots of juice and water so that she can stay hydrated. She has a little so fever. Far, no cough. Actually, my fever's gone. Currently. Fever, the Tylenol worked. I have a headache. Headache. I'm tired, but I'm always Sore tired. Sore throat. So tired. So I'm going to try to snooze, even though I hate snoozing. I know. But I have a duty. I shouldn't kiss her on the mouth because I don't want her to. I think Rosie gave us COVID. <laughs> Maybe that's where we got it from. Or Allie got it from. I'm not sick yet. Let's see if I test positive. So I'm on COVID prep duty. I'm really worried that Allie and I are both going to get really sick and need like food and a clean house and everything. So I'm prepping in case that happens, cleaning the whole house. And I'm about to make a nice, fresh, homemade soup with protein in it, just in case. Allie's mom did go grocery shopping for us and picked up soups and fruit, bread so we can have toast, different things. Allie is really not feeling good. She had to go to the hospital, so that's where she is right now. Um, no one could go with her because she has COVID. She was having really, really bad chest pains, but with no like respiratory symptoms at all, like no cough, no cloggy lungs, like nothing like that. Really bad chest pain and a really, really fast heart rate. So she went in and they did an ECG and now she's just waiting to talk to the doctor to see what's up. Last thing they heard, you were in the hospital. Oh, it was fine. For your heart? It was all fine. Don't worry. It was fine. It was fine. The, the doctor was a bro, though. Like, I never got a bro doc before. Like a frat boy. He was a bro. Like, literally a bro. I was like, this is so weird. But they said that he your nice. heart racing and chest pains was probably just... He said it was, like, a combination of trying to get my fever down um, and just, like, having extra blood, being pregnant... Having COVID. Uh, having COVID. Things. But my oxygen was perfect. They said it was like a like 100. Yeah, and they checked your heart and everything was fine. So everything was fine. But good you got checked. And uh, they always say, come back. Come in, though. It's good. But my chest pain, what was that? I don't know. That sucked. Good morning, COVID lady. Hello. <laughs> it's COVID day. What do you want? Hi, Mom. It's COVID day three. <clears throat> The cats are trying to get out the window. Two, did we? Day two was actually not that bad. Day two was your better day. I thought I was going to be good. <clears throat> I thought I was done and I avoided it. I was like, I'm good. You even told the hospital that when they called. <clears throat> I was like, I think it's over. They said days four and five were the worst. Mm -hmm. She said, usually. usually Today, uh, <clears throat> I'm hoarse. I'm congested. My throat is just as sore. That's all. Okay. I'm tired. So they just sleep. Yeah. Nightmares. But nightmares. Awful. My poor girl. I'm trying to go to sleep. Trying to show them the little thing they gave you. Oh, um, yeah. This is an oxygen monitor. It's just because you're pregnant. They want to keep an eye on it in I case you need fine. supplemental oxygen. And they put me on 2,000 things I use or something that they call it. I vitamin D every day. After all these years, I finally got it. I know. That's the worst part. I know. We've avoided it for it's so like long. It's like you avoided it for so long, and then you're finally hit. I know. But <clears throat> I'd much rather get it now than when the babies are born, so. That's true. I gotta go turn my alarm off. Welcome to the nursery. So, still COVID day three. I don't know if I said that I am still negative and I feel 
okay. Perfectly fine, actually. I have no symptoms. I'm fully anticipating that I will get it because I'm in close contact with Allie. At the time that Allie tested positive for me to isolate from her, we did talk about it, but I'd already like slept in the same bed as her, shared drinks with her, kissed her. Like what's really the point in isolating after all that? I am still negative, but also I have to take care of her to a certain extent because she's sick and pregnant. So one of the jobs she gave me today was to work on the nursery so that it's more done. So I've been taking out some big things that were being stored in here that don't belong. Still have to figure out when I'm going to build this. You can tell it's the other bassinet. So we've decided we're going to do the two halo bassinets, I think. One on either side of the bed. We tested out um, the other bassinets we had, but because the halo goes like right over our bed, it just seems like the better option, especially with Allie probably getting a C-section now. So we'll show you that setup whenever it's done. It won't be for a while. But that means there's still a giant box in here with the bassinet in it. Uh, but we got the cutest package of toys and teethers. Let me show you. I'm quite positive I could have found a better place to film this, but here we are. So this is from the shop Tailored Tots, which is a mom-owned business here in the Maritimes. I think they're in New Brunswick. They sent over so many beautiful things and I can't get enough. So they specialize in personalization, but since um, we're not sharing the names of the twins, we opted not to have things personalized. You don't have to. So here's some things we got. We got these little Hello World things for the hospital to write all of their stats and little name cards for them. And these adorable cloth loveys. And they say loved beyond measure on the top. We have some wood rattles, lots of cute silicone teethers, and I'm obsessed with these. We didn't have any stuff like this, so it's going to come in so handy. I think we're going to hang these guys from their um, like play gym area for them. And then there's some clips, some soother clips. Also had none of those, so that's handy. And then little ice cream cone teethers. I can't believe that in like no time at all, we're gonna have two little babies in this room playing with these and chewing on these and cranky little teething messes and I just can't wait. What an adventure this is going to be. So thank you very much, Taylor Tots. I will link them down below. They did also send over a discount code for you all. Um, this was a gift from them. So they sent a discount code for you all to use. I will link that down in the description box too, but support local, especially little like locally owned mom run businesses. I think it is so sweet and so nice to support them. I know it means a lot to them. So Link it all down below and you all can check them out. I have bad news, as you can tell by the way I look, I think. I have COVID. So I tested positive. There goes Allie. She's just going to go for a walk around the block. Today is day six of COVID for Allie and day three for me. I tested positive on Friday and I felt fine. The only thing was is that I had a sore throat. And that day I got a lot done. I was really productive, cleaned the house. Everything was fine. Yesterday was my worst day uh, so far of three days. I had a fever that would just like not go away. It started Friday night, I think. And then all day yesterday I had a fever and nothing was helping with it. It just wouldn't go away. Allie and I snuggled up on the couch and watched a lot of our baby course. So did that and made like a bit of a list of baby things that we want to get done. And then today I woke up feeling better. My fever had broken and it's currently like one o'clock in the afternoon. I got lots done this morning. I think I pushed it. So I organized, like if you look here, under <laughs> the TV stand, those drawers, not the drawers, cupboards. I emptied that out completely and put in a bin of newborn toys so that we have toys for them down here. 
because I feel like we won't always be bringing them up to their room to play. And then also put a diaper changing station in there. So like diapers, wipes, burp cloths. We need more burp cloths. And then I'm going to put blankets and stuff in there too. Just some extras, soothers, that kind of stuff. Just because we spend a lot of time in our living room. So I feel like it's a good central place to have extra things. And I also cleaned out that dresser thing that we have, the sideboard or whatever in the kitchen. Uh, and organized it and put like all the bottles in a bin, the nipple stuff, all my my pumping supplies, all of that in a space. But that reminds me. I was actually supposed to start my lactation, like actual pumping. Let me update you on it. COVID threw a wrench in my plans. I had a doctor's appointment on, I want to say Thursday for my lactation induction, which if you don't know, Allie is pregnant, my wife, she is pregnant with our twins, and I am going to attempt to breastfeed them, which is possible. I know a lot of people are like, what the heck? You can do it. Um, so I had my appointment with my doctor finally. It was really hard to schedule, but I finally got an appointment with her. <coughs> I also have a cough, did I tell you that? an appointment with her on Thursday and she gave me the go ahead to stop birth control, start my new medication. It's called Domperidon. When I start my Domperidon, I pump every two to three hours around the clock. COVID to mention my plans. I called in my prescription, but because I'm sick, I haven't been able to go to the pharmacy to pick it up. I wasn't sick when I called it in. I was hoping I could go the Friday morning, but I tested positive and started feeling sick. And I also can't get my hospital grade pump. I have a rental or that I'm trying to organize and I can't go pick it up because I uh, have COVID. So not ideal. So I am not pumping yet. I'm staying on my birth control for a few more days. So I will keep you updated on my lactation induction journey and I'll have Allie update you on how she is feeling now. I know this is like a little bit of a like almost week in the life of COVID in our house video. How's COVID day five? Six. Six. <coughs> I didn't talk to them you in a long time, right? Yeah, a few days. Okay, hello. I told them I have COVID now too. Day one sucked real bad. That was the worst. No, <laughs> it wasn't the worst. Day one sucked real bad. Day two wasn't that bad in the day. I was like, oh, it's not that bad. Then the night got worse. Day three was awful. Day four was awful. Day five was awful. And Are now you sensing we're on a pattern? day six. It's not as awful, I will say. I had the energy to walk up and down the road. Yep. I did 2,000 steps. Nice. Yesterday I did 148. I just checked. I was like, oh my god, I did 148. How are the babies? People want to know. Oh, babies are fine. They're fine. As far as I know. It's not really any, just congested. You're doing good. Congested and tired. <laughs> then I went outside and now I'm like, regret. I'm just like, I pushed it. But I read... I'm reading, this reading fast. Whoa! I've never seen you read this fast ever. Because I have a lot of time. Yeah. Finished two books almost in COVID. Um, not in the whole COVID. <laughs> just in this week of COVID. This was just sitting on our shelf. And it's actually good. Good. I'm surprised I've never read it before. And oh. we are making sausages and cheesy potatoes. And I am sick. sick You're only on days. I know. Three? Day or two. Three. We're taking How the How do dogs. you like my chin? Oh, it's not that bad, was it? She has like a. It okay, looks so better today. It does look a bit better tonight. She's been so I swollen in the lymph nodes that I need to cough. That it. She had like a huge double it, chin. <laughs> I love, okay, so <laughs> my. I looked like my grandpa's side of the family. <laughs> this like swollen neck. One more chin. Well, do you want to tell them how much weight you've gained? I weigh one hundred and forty-two pounds point nine. So. Still 142, let's say. I used to weigh 115 pounds. They said to expect 50 pounds. Wait, game is pregnancy. 50 to 60. 60. And I've gained, well, let's see. You're on a math. good weight gain track, which is good considering baby A is small. pounds, I think. Yeah. I, I, so I actually weighed 118 before 
but then I lost I lost three pounds in the first couple of weeks because mm. uh, I stopped drinking and everything. We also have a problem, folks. We're supposed to have a scan to check baby A's weight oh, yeah. on Tuesday, I but Doodle's toe. Yeah, but we have COVID. Well, yeah. yeah. So I called and then they said call call right back, but then they didn't. So I'm I may have to go back from the place we're going on a little vacation. Yeah. To the hospital. Well, because they won't. By it's myself. important to check baby A's. I don't want to go by myself. I know. I don't even have a friend really I could ask. I don't think you're allowed to bring anyone if you have COVID. I definitely can't go because you have to be ten days negative to go to an appointment at the hospital. Mm -hmm. So. I can't. Or not 10 days negative. 10 days, 10 days past your start of symptoms. symptoms. It's important to check the A's weight, so... Yeah. I'm sure they're fine. I I know. I'm not worried. I don't worry anymore. And the doctors weren't worried, so... <laughs> no, I don't worry anymore about anything. It's I do. It's kind of nice. The day I got COVID, the isolation dropped, so you don't technically... You don't have to isolate if you have COVID anymore. But we have been, obviously, because I don't want anyone to get it. And it's mir miraculous that nobody has gotten it. Because we saw... I saw, like, between the two days before I tested positive, like, the, the night that I got symptoms, that night I saw, like, 12 people. And the night before I... The day before I saw, like, 30 people. And nobody got COVID. Except I mean, you. I where you got it. Except Sam, and that's because she's been in the house with me. So well, we have no clue where, well, I mean, I saw that many people. I was very exposed. I also did go to spin class with 30 people. So I saw, like, in total, I was exposed to probably, like, 70 people, which is not typical for me either. I, like, never see anyone. So, I mean, it was bound to get it. Anyway, I am glad I got it now. And not when the baby's come. And I hope I don't get long COVID. I mean, I'm still sick, actively, but I'm alive today, clearly, because I can talk. Anyway, goodbye from my chins and I. <laughs> I have so many chins, look. Why? And this is me uh, on day seven. So it's been four days since I saw you and to be completely honest, I have really, really felt sick. I think the thing that's most surprising for me is how long this sickness seems to be lasting. Allie is, would be on, what, day 10? And she's still not feeling 100%. So we've been resting a lot and watching shows. We started last night, the summer I turned pretty on Amazon Prime. I'm liking it, it's very much like a teen show. And then we had been watching and we're completely caught up uh, only murders in the building which is on Disney plus it's Selena Gomez who is like my one true love besides Ali I swear and I don't actually know the guys names but I know I'm they're wrong. famous they're famous actors too it's cold down here. Uh, I'm boiling oh really okay I'm so hot and I have hardly any clothes on all right I'd like to say that the Claritin helped the Claritin helped how are you Claritin. feeling? You're on day 10? S yes, god damn it. Sorry. Uh, did you say that on Yeah, you can say god damn it. I'm not religious. <laughs> Sorry if you are. Yeah, I'm on day 10. I woke up and I had this... Oh, I've had this, this head two times before. This type of head. I woke up and I was like, this is the same head I had when I thought I had COVID Do you in 2020. That? It's just funny. Funny head. It's like, okay. th it's the worst. Like, you can't function. Yeah. But like I think it's stemming from inflammation and congestion in the head. We're but both I can't super take congested. So. Advil, like usually, no. Advil's the only thing that would work for me on a headache or like any type of inflammation. I can't take it. I can't take anti-inflammatories. So I can take Claritin, which is an allergy. If you don't know, it's an allergy, like a non-drowsy allergy, daily thing. So I took that today, and I'm feeling a bit better. I was telling them about things we did, like we watched oh Only COVID? Murders in the Building. Yeah, we, we started started the summer. I turned pretty. I like we that. read a lot. I I like shows. So Allie <laughs> loves a good TV I'm a, show. I'm like pretty much if you could put me as an age, eleven, <laughs> twelve. 
I love the family channel shows. Do they still make family channel? I honestly don't know. I'm gonna get it for the kids. For the kids. Okay. No, none of that Disney Plus. Why? Because it's nice to watch live TV. Oh. So we're gonna be watching Family Channel. I hope they still play Raven. Family Channel is like the Disney Channel in Canada. <sighs> yes, we didn't know. Low budget. <laughs> Popcorn flicks. What did they call it? I Popcorn flicks. Do you know? Um, anyway, I love stuff like that. Hannah Montana, Disney Channel. That's my jam. So anyway, we have started that. I love teen shows. I know you I'm a teen. You're a teen at heart. Okay, so that's all we did. Here. I feel like we didn't do anything else. No, we read. What are you doing? My arm hurts, and my, they wanted to see my chin up. They don't want to see your chin. Up <laughs> did they see it before? Uh, I cut some of it. <laughs> Good. Good. I went on for a long time about my chins. Yeah. That is our COVID diaries. That is what it was like for us having COVID. Sucks. Sucks. But you know what? We're lucky we weren't even hospitalized, and yes. we're like obviously very grateful that. Everything was fine. Yes. We got it relatively mild. mild, even though it felt like the worst thing in the world. Yes. So I am grateful for that. Doesn't mean I won't complain still about it, but I am grateful because I know a lot of people get very, very sick. So we're yes. lucky we were we able to get vaccinated. We had access to that. Yes. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.